Perl Tutorial Part 90 Reading Arguments Passed to Subroutines We use the special array that looks like this to read arguments passed to a subroutine. Each argument passed to the special array can be referenced with the special variable and indexed from zero. So that would be the first argument. That would be the second argument, etc. So let's create a subroutine called add up. Let's pass couple of numbers to our subroutine 5 and 5. So by default these numbers will get read by our special array. So we can access those arguments directly like this with our special array indexing and then we can collect our second value like this and then we can print value 1 plus value 2 and let's print a new line so let's run this and we get 5 plus 5 equals 10 okay so now let's copy this down let's call this add up 2 so we can also do this by shifting the special array So shift will shift off the leftmost element of the array and create this variable from it and then every value in that array will move along one place to the left. So we can just keep shifting off our values. So let's run this. and we get number 10 again. Now by default if shift isn't given an array to shift it will default to the special array so we can just have our code like this and let's run this again we get the number 10. Okay so here's another way let's copy this down and rename this add up 3. Here's a way we can get all our variables in a list assignment at once so remove those two lines so we can just say value 1 value 2 like that 
and let's run this. Number 10. Okay, now let's try something a little bit different. Let's create a sub routine called Do It. Let's come back to that. Let's create an array called Names. Let's put some names in here. Edmund. Percival, Hillary, and let's say, do it to our array of names. Now, let's create a for each loop inside our subroutine. Let's put our special array in the for each loop for each name in the default array. Let's print each default value. Let's run this. Edmund, Percival and Hillary, each on their own new line. Now let's try something a bit different. Let's create a counter equals zero. Let's increment the counter at the end of each loop and let's this will do exactly the same thing as we did by just printing the default variable Let's run this. Edmund Percival Hillary. So that's how to read arguments passed to subroutines. And also, if you don't know who Edmund Percival Hillary is, look him up on the internet.